What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fortnite Save the World video. Today we're going to be going over a uh, somewhat interesting build. It's one of my it's one of my favorites. Um, and that's kind of just because I like to swing bats. That sounds weird. I'm not trying to insinuate anything. Why do I why do I have to start like that? <laughs> I'm uh, I'm using a uh, what I call the going constructor build and this is what it is basically director rigs for the uh, increased duration by two seconds so it's an increase of basically 20 seconds on going constructor um, happy holidays for a cooldown actuated attacks because I believe going constructor is a hardware so that's why I have these two or these three actually um, the important ones for this one are basically just Director Riz, and, uh, this is a character. Arlene? I don't know how to pronounce that. Arlene? Is it? Arlene, I guess you could say. Arlene? Arlene is a... Uh, if that's how you pronounce it. Uh, bringing down the house because, you know what I mean? You, you, you might want that, uh, that, uh... Totally rocking out, kind of thing, or rock and rift, whichever. It's kind of they're kind of the same thing. Grants rock and rift. Um, I usually refer to it as totally rocking out because it's the ability that you get from from Dennis Jr., which is a mythic character. Um, I'm also using survivalists for extra health, right? Obviously, this is a life leech, and this survivalist will give you extra health. It's really good in ventures. Um. Um, I guess I'll just have to go and show you, I guess. I'm going to run a, granted it's not a high level Ventures, but you know what I mean? If you have these two characters, Director Riggs and uh, Arlene Isa, then um, well, you, you're going to want Happy Holidays as well. So, sorry for saying you only need two things, but uh, you need three things. Director Riz, Happy Holidays, and... Uh, and Arlene. I was going to say this character, but I was like, wait, no, not that character. Um, having this character and or these two, uh, these two will help you do more damage. Uh, this one is kind of optional because it's, I'm not sure if you actually gain, uh, increased damage. Um, so I'm going to say that's optional, but these three, Director Riggs, Happy Holidays, and Arlene are the ones you need for it. Uh, um, I mean, that's really all there is to explain. Uh, I'm going to load in, run up to an encampment, and I'll be back. Alright, we're back. We're about to run up on an encampment. Um, and I'll show you how it works. So as you see, the bottom right, it is left trigger, right bumper. You're going to hear audio because I'm doing the, the love event, which is how you get uh, under the jump. But we'll start it now. Holding left trigger will uh, grant you a bit of movement speed increase, as well as pull all enemies in the direction or in that wide range towards you. Um, holding the shield out, as far as I know, also gives you more armor, like a lot more armor. You see me getting shot, I was like barely doing anything. It is a 25 second cooldown. Twenty-five second cooldown, which isn't super long, but you know what I mean. If you're going in between uh, encampments, I know they get harder and harder, um, but it's not too long to hold out, and you could always build too. I'm always one of the people that kind of forget you can build in this game mode, and I'm like, oh, I forgot I can build. I can just uh, build up and get out of danger all right sorry for the jump I sneezed um, there it is. 
activate it. And these guys, when you want to just slap over their heads. Of course, you're surrounded. It's a different story. You're not surrounded. You're fine. And these things really do damage to you as well. I mean, I have shield, but... The only real problem is dealing with guys that throw stuff because they like to back up. Still got 30, oh, not 35 seconds, like 15 seconds or 10 seconds actually, release time. Stunning them, you can stun enemies too. Not like that, but uh. You can stun enemies, it's like you hit them and they'll stun. And if you stun the, um. Stun the propane guys, they will, uh. They will drop their propane tank, but swinging near it will mean that you hit it and then it blows up on you. Uh, two. Oh, if you guys don't know as well, um, storm chests, I think it's above level 34 or 34 and above. Um, they spawn in those level zones. And, um, I mean they, because there's not always just one. In fact, um, more than one could spawn. Like if I were to do these two later on, um, two more might spawn or one more might spawn. Um, I've gotten four in one mission. That's one. Take it down. Uh, you know, like I did two, and then two more spawned in a different area. It's it's kind of cool that they spawn. I don't want to use the shield, even though it gives me movement speed. I'm going to be pulling a bunch of enemies and not trying to pull too many right now. Um, trying to use it wisely, I guess, and conserve it for the enemies here. The use time. Next one's looking tough. You can um, now, on occasion, when your going constructor ends, um, there's an explosion. I'm sure you guys have seen it earlier. There's an explosion. We will not be we will conquer all. Being in love means you really mean it. Okay. I mean, I don't know how else to showcase it other than this. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's pretty good for defense. I wouldn't say it's good against smashers, but you do take like barely any damage from smashers either. So you could one v one a smasher. Um. But it would be pretty hard, cause uh, cause the smasher will push you around, and if you don't have enemies around you, you're not gonna be gaining health, you need know, from the life leech. So you'll just it'll run you down unless you're surrounded, which is what this ability kind of thrives in is being surrounded. Let's see explosion. Um, do want to mention too, I should have mentioned this earlier uh, in the like video, the but I got allergies, so I'm like congested and my voice sounds weird. Uh, so yeah, sorry about that. Like in, in, in the earlier video, I think in the, uh, uh, I filmed it yesterday. Actually, I filmed it, no, yeah, I filmed it yesterday. I filmed it yesterday, the Avatar video. Um, these are going to be a couple days apart, the videos, but uh, I filmed the Avatar video yesterday and I was more so congested than, than I am now. Um, I thought I hit him. These guys like, like to back up, and that's not good. I'm about to run out of this thing anyway, and I'm pulling. Look at all the enemies I'm pulling. Just from a okay. new, so many enemies. It's cool. I can run around. 
play hide and seek for a little bit. That shield guy's gonna be the issue, but not that much of an issue for too long. One more wave, which is perfect, because I have a lot of time to use. I mean that was that's it I mean it's it's just a cool build uh, it's one of our favorites because last I used it was in the 140s pre not pre 160s but in the 140s just as a test and it did fairly well in the is that the th is this the third one no it's not a third one I thought it was a third uh, a third chest I'm gonna do it Show you guys that you can, you can do it. Get some metal. Yeah. It's gonna be weird. I could also, you could also break structures with it. So you just run around and punch it. It's like two hit structure. And also, since you can pull enemies towards you like this, you can just let them surround you and then go ahead and start swinging. Um, but in this case, that's not a good thing to do because you need to get kills as fast as you can and letting them come to you is probably not the fastest way to get as many possible. Who kills like oh thirty six? How much time do I have? Not enough time. Not enough time, man. Well, I mean, forty eight of fifty. <laughs> I was really close. Uh, if the building wasn't there, is there anything I think kind of? hindered me in there was that they had to walk around the building um if you guys are wondering where I got the xenon bow a bird I killed a bird and it dropped a xenon bow so I got super lucky uh I basically beat ventures early because <laughs> xenon bow is crazy to have in ventures uh really good to have in ventures getting it is a godsend especially have if you have the uh the bow build it's a freaking really good um just a really good damage build so makes ventures a lot easier uh, if you're playing with friends and there are build methods that you could use and stuff like that to make the game easier especially combining constructors which is i always say like stacking constructors um is always your best bet in passing a mission Who? <clears throat> right. uh, this is the big charm. I want to. I want to get a smasher. I want to go to a 160 after this. Um, I guess after this, I would just let the time run out, and then I'll go to a 160, and I'll show you guys what it's like in a 160. In case you want to use it in a 160 area, I wouldn't recommend it, but. I mean, in case you want to. Come here, buddy. I don't have enough time. That sucks. Give me the middle. Give me the middle, give me the middle, give me the middle. Try to crash frame, see if I can get under their, uh... Under lasers. One more wave. I'm at full health. Now I did 
think that I could put um, energy siphon on it and make the enemies not make the enemies, but uh, gain shield as well. But I think I do that passively already, so it's not much of a not much of a crazy thing. Um, I mean, that's it for this mission, and I'll show you how how good it works in adventures. Um, ooh, oh, hello, buddy. Crafting material bird. They come in blue and black, the ones that drop crafting material. Um, I do want to mention to you guys as well, this area right here is one of the areas I reference. Uh, this area right here will give you a ton, a ton of nuts and bolts. These things alone give you eight piece. These ones will give you probably like six or seven. But if you're running um, clip, then you get double that, so you get 14 per, which is freaking crazy. These things also give you some. These give you a little bit. They give you like two, three, so you might get four to six. Um, these things as well give you like two, one, two, maybe. I think two, three is probably the same amount. Um, these as well, these searchables will give you nuts and bolts. Check it out. Ten. Right? Ten from just searching it. It's easy. Those big ones. Look at that. I think there's another one right there I landed on. Eleven. That'll give me eleven that time. These also give you nuts and bolts. Um, I still get questions from time to time. How do I get more nuts and bolts? Those things over there give you nuts and bolts. Those, the cars, obviously. Um, this area right here as well will also give you a lot of nuts and bolts. You see right here, these stacks of cars that are crushed together will give you a bunch of nuts and bolts. I don't know how much per usually. Smash this tiny one. Three, so that one will give you six. And this one give you a crafting material and one nut and bolt so I guess it's a chance to take a crafting material and nuts and bolts um, but obviously you get a higher chance of either or getting a lot more of either or if you're using clip uh, so I'm gonna let this timer run out and then I'll see you guys when I'm in a 160 with this build all right here we are in a 160 I just loaded in uh, I realized I don't really need the dialogue up because I don't get any story dialogue, I get quest dialogues from, well actually, I get dialogues from event quests. And uh, I've already done all the event quests, so I don't want to hear them anymore. Uh, I used to, my dialogue was kind of high. There's a shelter, but I want to beat up some enemies. I think survivors are going to spawn right here. Yeah, so we'll pull this out. Pull them to me. Come here, buddies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And beat their ass. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Save you. I need a hero. Okay. It, it'd work a lot better if I wasn't surrounded and I got more kills, which is why it ended early. There's that damn one over here, look. Yeah, there he is. There we go. Got a big guy on me? Let's hear it. Where are you, buddy? What kind of enemy are you? <clears throat> I got one second left, and I'm not afraid. What kind of enemy we got? Looks like a Diopa taker, I would just say. But it's two seconds per elimination, so if I don't get a bunch of eliminations, then I am not. What are you doing, homie? Fight me. Put him to sleep. <laughs> Put him to bed. Good night. Put him to bed. Alright, pulled some enemies up there, I think, on accident. Yeah, pretty sure. Um... So when I say it's a 25 second cooldown, that's if you get 10 kills. If you don't, then it's not 20, 10 to 25 seconds. Uh, let's look for a bigger boy. Let's look for a smasher. Punch the smasher right in his face. Okay, uh, I'll do that quest. Actually, I can't do the quest because I'll have to do the mission. And I am not the right character to do it. Let's punch that guy. Right there, that blaster. 
see how he likes it. It took out the taker pretty reasonably uh, quick. See how fast it takes this guy. Hello, buddy. Okay, now these are 160s, keep in mind, so... I mean, they're pretty hard by themselves. Like you see the, uh... My 130 Nocturno is barely doing anything to these guys. I mean, it's doing reasonably well, but I do have it water for the Chrome Husks. Uh, if you don't know, Chrome Husks are weak to water. Yeah, see, look at that. Even with the water weapon. I'm, doing, I'm not doing any extra damage anyway, but like... These guys don't have an element. Okay, well, let's look for a bigger boy. Let's look for a bigger one. I want the big fish. I want a smasher. I'll show you guys how this thing runs against a smasher. I mean, we've seen Taker, we've seen uh, Blaster. We need Smasher. We can't get Flinger because you'd have to start the mission to get a Flinger. Um, but Flingers like to run away from you. Uh, sometimes they will straight up attack you if you're too close. And you're in their like preferred throwing area where they'll throw from. Uh, then they'll try to swing at you. But if not, then they, they won't. That's just Blaster. You can tell by its little hand on the floor. Uh, is there really no smashers? Is there really up there? No. Sometimes they're on mountains too, which is kind of funny because then they just run off. Purple dog. Purple doge. Dogecoin. Purple dogecoin. Um. Really no smashers. You're gonna die. Sorry, buddy. Um. There's a cave right there. Uh, if you guys are looking for bunkers, bunkers are on this type of map. It's ghost town. Is it a ghost town? Yeah, ghost town. Bunkers are in the ghost towns. Uh, there are bunkers in the Thunder Route area too. But I think they spawn more frequently in the Thunder Route area. There's always a bunker in the Thunder Route area. Uh, in this one, it's kind of a chance that it'll have a bunker. I've already been this way, haven't I? Yeah. I want to check down under here. I've already been here too, but... I mean, along the water. Because sometimes you get enemies that spawn. Okay, well, I guess not. Um, I really want a smasher, though. I want to try to get a smasher. Uh, I know they won't spawn from an encampment, because that's never happened. That'd be pretty cool if instead of spawning two... Well, I've the whole map now. Let's see what's in there. It looks like a blaster. It's either a blaster or something else. Nothing. Cave in the center. Center cave. In there. Nothing. Around here. Nope. Okay. Uh, easiest thing to do is just leave and then rejoin and hopefully I get a smasher somewhere. So that's what I'm gonna do. Until I find one, because I want to show you guys uh, how it, you know, how it, uh, how it is against the Smasher. Am I picking up duct tape? Did they shoot a bird off the map? Uh, something had to happen like that. Um, usually when animals or stuff gets dropped off the map, it'll teleport either to the player or to the nearest like cliff edge. So if I drop something off the edge, it'll just spawn somewhere along the edge. Um, I think maybe they shot a bird off the edge, and that bird TP up. Oh, it was a golden room. Check this out before I go uh, into the other the other map. Oh, it's not this area. That sucks. Yeah, it's not this area. This just has a cell down here. Okay. Uh, the golden room is like the golden... It's usually right there. 
Okay, but I'm gonna leave, look for a Smasher. See you guys in a second. Alright, I'm back. Found a Smasher. I'm gonna go punch it in the face. It's always got those shield guys. I hate those shield guys. These guys. Let's get rid of them right away. He hit me. He actually kind of bumped me. Alright, I'm sorry I gave him an affliction, but... He's ass now. He's ass. Blocked. Oh, oh, blocked. Oh, 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 oh. 1v1. 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 Oh, I ran out of time because I didn't kill any enemies. See? See what I mean? I thought I killed you. He's hurting me, he's hurting me. Just don't rush at me, buddy, and I can dodge you all day. Still 1v1 it, I just need to get my ability back. Alright, here we go. 1v1, 1v1. 1v1, 1v1. 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 1v1, I said. Okay. <laughs> you see how uh, you see um so it's a lot better if you're fighting multiple enemies. Like if I had a bunch of little French fry guys around me and you know a bunch of random enemies then I'd be doing a lot better against it because I'd have a lot more time to do more damage. So it's good when you're surrounded by more enemies. You won't have as much movement not movement, you won't have as much uh I guess uh, opportunity to dodge like I am currently but um, it works really well against don't you swing at me buddy okay he got lucky he didn't get lucky that time he actually didn't get that time what we want what we want Look how much damage he's doing to me as well. I have 400,000 health, but with the shield, he barely does any. So, you can see how it makes it worth it. So, a little damage. Damage without? <laughs> see, I told you. The damage without is a lot more. If I was a club build, then the hand would be doing a lot more damage. Oops. Oh, don't fall off the map. No, he fell off the... Oh, he did fall off the map. I thought he did for a second. Alright, we we'll push him off now. Check it out. Pink. So yeah, you could 100% go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. With the smasher. Look at that. So, I mean, it's not difficult to use either, right? Um, use your shield to block. Um, you could preemptively block, obviously. The, their patterns aren't going to change too much. Right off the cliff, check it out. And back up. There we go, see? Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's how you use the Going Constructor build. Um, shield is really good, but it also calls more enemies towards you, which is something you kind of want, but kind of don't want. It really depends on the situation. Um, like, if you're doing a storm chest, then it's better to run around and try to attack enemies um, to get the kills faster. Obviously, having a wide open space is going to help you a lot for that with this build especially um because trying to wait for the enemies to come to you is going to take longer and that's not good because it's a timed thing um but you could definitely go head to head with 
a constructor uh, pretty easily and take barely any damage. And the cool thing is that with the setup, um, so with uh, Ariel and with the survivalist, so with Monster Mash and with survivalist, um, those two are gonna keep you alive a lot longer, especially dealing with multiple enemies. It didn't die. I thought it would have died. There's another one right here though. That one died, see? Um, but it works, it works a lot better with, um, you know, Ariel is uh, for the life leech. Um, survivalist also helps a good chunk, but it's not a required character. To have the full build, yes, I do recommend you have survivalist um but to have the build just you know i guess the base of it all you really need is director rigs happy holidays at ariel is a all you really need uh unless i mentioned someone else earlier um but yeah that is gonna be it for this video guys if you liked it leave a like if you want to see more subscribe down below if you have any questions anything like that let me know or need help at all i can help you uh i just need to get building mats that's all i really need to do <laughs> but um yeah i'll see you guys next time